Hey, what's up guys? Tito here and basically I'm going to be giving you guys an unboxing and first impressions of the Asus Zenfone 3 Max. So let's cue that roll, jump right in. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Alright, so this is the Asus Zenfone 3 Max. Now, one of the things advertised with this is probably the same thing as the LG X Power and that is a 4100 milliamp hour battery. Um, so that is something that is going to be really cool with this device. I actually got it on my simple mobile plan. Just basically pop the SIM card in there and it's working just fine. And so far, my first impressions, the body build of the device is really, really cool. I dig it. It's got that 2.5D um, display. So uh, it's got those little rounded corners to it, I guess. Um, now, the only downside I find to this device is the fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader is a little bit slower than the Huawei Senza. That I've noticed so um, you're gonna have to really kind of like put some effort in there to get this device unlocked from your fingerprint but other than that it still works pretty good um, it does have adoptable storage pretty much opened up so that's also a plus and uh, I guess I'll just kind of give you guys a little bit of the specs here just so you guys were curious about it so it has the MediaTek 6735 quad core processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz it uses the Mali T720 GPU um, screen uh, screen size is a 5.2 inch display you got 720 by 1280 is the resolution at uh, 282 DPI um, it's got 9 gigs of available storage but there's 16 gigs of onboard storage and you got adoptable storage that's already pretty much opened up runs 6.0 marshmallow and has a 4100 milliamp hour battery 5 megapixel front facing shooter and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera so those are just some of the light specs right now just kind of tell you guys a little bit about it i'll go more in depth with the first uh actual review of this device but i gotta say right now um pretty much on par with uh, the LG X Power. I got them both here. Pretty much about the same size and everything. So um, kind of cool. And uh, yeah, the battery is probably going to be like the biggest thing for me on it. Um, so anyways, uh, that's just kind of like my first impressions of the device. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys can let me know by smashing that like button to let me know you guys enjoyed this video. Um, links on the display. Click them so you guys can subscribe. And uh, hit that bell option so you guys know when I upload a video. And... Yeah, that's it for this video. So uh, mahalo for checking me out. And aloha till the next time, guys.